Hey folks, Mr. McStash in prison again. Haunted. And she's with me. So <laughs> every time I'm with my wife, why do we end up in prison all the time? I'm not sure we're what that's in, all about. We're outside. Okay, we're in the yard. We're not in prison. That's the gallows. That's the prison. It's we are at Burlington, New Jersey. At the prison in Burlington, we're New in Jersey. Mount Holly, New Jersey. Oh, we're in Mount Holly, New Jersey. Yeah. And it's the Burlington prison, which was actually yeah. in use until what 1965 or something like that. Yeah. So it was the oldest working prison at the time. Um, they have an escape room inside, so if you're into the escape rooms, you can do that. But be warned, you will be going up and down a lot of stairs because it's three floors and the clues are on all the floors. And um, the girls did very good at it. How, how quick was you? It's supposed to be it a half. 30, it was less than 30 minutes. Yeah, it was supposed to be a half hour and they did it less than that. But uh, so, yeah, if you want to see something neat, there is it's supposedly haunted, but we have not done the. We're going to do that next. We're going to go ahead and do our ghost hunting thing with the, the ghost tools and EMFs and all that. So, yeah, check it out. Uh, Mount Holly. Mount Holly, New Jersey. Mount Holly, New Jersey, Burlington Prison. At one time, America's oldest working prison. So, we talked to the curator, I guess is what you would call him. And he said some of the most activity he saw was up in the dungeon, dungeon which we are going to go up to now. Gee, me, Christmas. Nana's got the, uh, Mrs. McStash has got the EMP going and it's beeping up like mad. So let me turn you around and we'll see that. So Maddie's getting some big hits on her EMF, but every time her EMP, but every time I come around, it goes down. No. I don't know. Maddie heard a noise. Did you hear something? No. I'm just saying that for funsies. What do you think? <laughs> so here we have a couple of the original restored walls. Or not even not restored, but actually uh, what they were with the prisoner threw on the walls. This has got like a letter or something. This is a remake of the prison cell. What a prison cell would have looked like. Uh, you can't really see, but they got some sundries up there. Picture of Jesus. Not a lot of room. 14 and 13. Uh-oh, Mr. McStash is getting a hit on the EMF meter. Over by the warden's house. I'm coming. No, it says gather. So this would have been Come on. This is the, the entrance to the warden's house. And you're getting big hits over here? Yeah. Gather being collection. Big spikes. Okay, well now Popo's coming there all down down. Go away. Of course. I'll take this scene appears to have a prisoner strapped to the floor. It is set up this way because this individual actually had escaped from the jail.
he had tried to climb out the window and did not fit. So he stripped down without his clothes, covered himself in soap, threw his clothes out the window, proceeded to climb out the window, got into the courtyard, and was able to get over the wall. That is why they brought him back and changed him, chained him to the floor so he would have to not be able to escape again. This is also the room where they say the most paranormal activity, visions, and incantations takes place. This is the bathroom. Oh, there's another original wall. Hey folks, outside the Burlington County Prison in New Jersey. The prison, the guy that designed the prison actually turned, went on to be an architect for the United States of America. He helped design things like the um, Washington Monument and the Treasury Building. If you look on the back of the $10 bill, that building is on there. He helped design that. Um, actually ended up being a huge part of American history. Um, as far as the, the jail goes, you had him. The Boston Strangler was here. We talked to the curator about ghost scenes and happenings and stuff like that. He said something happens every day. Um, he said he's seen the warden like three times, has seen a hand go down the handrail. Nobody attached to it, just a hand. Um, so, hey, if you're into that kind of stuff, come check this place out. The girls was running their EMFs and EMPs, and they got quite a lot of readings until I showed up and they would stop so I'm not sure how that factors into it okay folks so uh, quick update this Burlington jail here it can be rented out overnight for ghost hunting up to 15 people so let's see Mr. McStash should be there baby McStash should be there myself will be there um, I don't know if daughter McStash will do that or not but 15 people you want to you want to be a part sign up below Back out in the courtyard here, folks. Uh, they're saying there was a guy that was hung and nobody claimed the body after he died. So he's buried out here in the courtyard somewhere. Maddie's searching back there. I think it might be back there, but we'll see. Get anything, Maddie? I got Marine. Marine? While we were out looking in the courtyard, a guy from inside the building was taking pictures of the tree. He caught something on his camera in one picture. The other pictures come out clear. Is it something? Let's see what you think. Take a look at this first picture. You can see a ball in the tree. If you look at the second picture where we zoomed in, it's a big black object. But there you go, folks, from the outside to prison. Why am I always, why are we, why do we keep ending up in prisons? I don't get that. Anyhow, check out our Patreon, folks, for as little as a dollar a day. You can help support the local veterans of my area. So before we get out of here, I'll show you some of the architecture around the area here behind me. But we want to say love on your family, check on your buddy, and when you get back out there, keep it rubber side down, folks. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.